So let's pick up where we left off yesterday. We'll do another example with two missing angles. And in this case, we have a missing side. Another way that we can do this is we can find the missing side by using the Pythagorean theorem. This is a right triangle, so we can do that. So it's a squared plus six squared equals the hypotenuse squared. That's going to give me a squared plus 36 equals 144. Subtract 36 over, that's a squared equals 108. Take the square root of both sides. That gives me a equals, and the square root of, 100 and, of 108 or 108 is 10.3923. Yeah, I know, I'm a genius. Actually, I just messed up in the last recording, so I had to stop it after doing this problem. But, whatever. Genius works, too. Okay. So now we can uh, look at our angles. So if I'm doing theta, I don't really want to put this long number in here. So I'm going to do theta, and I'm going to look at opposite over hypotenuse, which means I'm going to use sine. So sine theta equals the opposite, which is 6, over the hypotenuse, which is 12. That reduces to sine theta equals 1 half. Now we can easily put this in our Desmos calculator. See, that's still in there from the last time I did it, too. Go over to func, sine inverse, back to main of 1 half. And that gives you 30. But that's not even necessary. We had it in the table already. That the, if the sine of theta is 1 half, then theta has to equal 30 degrees. You should memorize that table. It will help you so you don't have to do so many of these calculations over and over again. So memorize that table with the sine, cosine, and tangent. Okay. Now let's look at beta. So I have beta. Now, if I'm doing beta, this would not be the opposite side. It would be the adjacent side. This is still the hypotenuse. So adjacent over hypotenuse gives me cosine beta equals adjacent, which is 6, over the hypotenuse 12. That reduces to one half again. Ooh, that's an ugly beta. Take the inverse cosine of both sides, or just memorize from the table. This is going to be beta equals 60 degrees. And we're done. Let's try some word problems now. Height above sea level. A straight, load, a straight road leads from an ocean beach at a constant upward angle of 3 degrees. How high above sea level is the road at a point 1 mile from the beach? So, we know that the road is going to be the top line that's running at a 3 degree angle. So that's going to be our 5280. We have a 3 degree angle here. And we're trying to find the height on this side. So if this is my angle, or my theta, I have the hypotenuse, and I need to find the opposite side. Now this isn't even a word problem anymore. It just comes back to exactly what we're doing. Opposite over hypotenuse, because I'm going to use the sine function. My angle is 3 degrees, so sine of 3 is opposite over hypotenuse. That's h over 5,280. Solve by multiplying both sides by 5,280. That's going to give you h equals 5,280 times the sine of 3. We'll do our Desmos calculator. 5... I hate it here.
There we go. Five two eight zero sine three. That tells us that our height is two hundred and seventy six point three three feet. So H equals 276.33. That's our final answer. Ladder safety. According to the safety sticker on a 20-foot ladder, the distance from the bottom of the ladder to the base of the wall on which it leans should be one fourth of the ladder, one fourth of the length of the ladder, five feet. How high up the wall will the ladder reach? If the ladder is in position, what angle does it make with the ground? According to the safety sticker on a 20 foot ladder, the distance from the bottom of the ladder to the base of the wall on which it leans should be one fourth of the length of the ladder, five feet. How high up the wall will the ladder reach? This is gonna be easiest if we draw a, ta uh, gra a picture of the ladder and what's going on. So the ladder has to lean. This ladder is 20. F oh, come on. This ladder is 20 feet long. The base has to be five feet away. Uh, how high up the wall will the ladder reach? So, in order to do that, all we have to do is use the Pythagorean theorem, because we don't have any angles. By the way, if we're putting it on a wall, this better be a right angle for our wall. So, let's use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out how high it reaches. So, 5 squared plus x squared equals 20 squared. So it's 25 plus x squared equals 400. Subtract the 25, you get x squared equals 375. Take the square root of both sides. Gives us 19.4 feet. So that's 19.4. It says if the ladder is in this position, what angle does it make with the ground? So I have this angle theta. Now we can use any one of these measurements to figure this out. I'm going to use these two because I rounded that 19.4 off. So I'm going to use the two most exact, which means I'm going to do adjacent over hypotenuse. So this is going to be cosine theta equals 5 over 20. Cosine theta equals 1 fourth. Take the inverse cosine of 1 fourth. Clear this off. Function inverse cosine back to main of 1 fourth. It gives us 75.52. So that's what our angle measure should be. 75. And I already said we should run this out to four decimal places. So let's keep that going. And that's our final answer. In many applications, the angle between a horizontal line and another line is used, such as the line of sight from an observer to a distant object. If the line is above the horizontal, remember that's the line that goes straight across from right to left, the angle is called the angle of elevation. If the line is below that, the angle is called the angle of depression. So if this is our horizontal line here, if we're looking downward, it's an angle of depression. 
if we're looking upward, it would be an angle of elevation. We can use this to do indirect measurement. So a flagpole casts a 60 foot shadow when the angle of elevation of the sun is 35 degrees. Find the height of the flagpole. So this means that if I have this angle of elevation of 35 degrees and a flagpole with this height h that we don't know, if I know that it's 60 feet from here out, I can find this side or how high the flagpole is just based off the angle of elevation being 35 degrees. So, if I'm looking at this as 35 degrees, which side is opposite that? The flagpole. This side here is the adjacent side. Opposite and adjacent tells me I'm going to use the tangent of 35 is h over 60. Multiply both sides by 60. It gives me 60 tan 35. Which is 42.01 feet. That's how tall my flagpole is. That's it. All right, guys, we'll do some more examples of that on our homework. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be here for Google Meet.